everyone. The Cadet Staff and Commanding Officer, Captain Catherine Chitty at CD, welcome you to 1888 32 Combat Engineer Regiment Cadet Corps 75th Annual Review. Today marks the culmination of training and achievements of the cadets over the last year, between the ages 12 and 19. Good afternoon, I'm Officer Cadet Gomez and I will be your Master of Ceremonies today. Please put all cell phones and devices on silence for the duration of the parade. The aims of the Canadian Cadet Organization is to offer male and female Canadian youth a personal and social development program based on military training, and to encourage qualities of good citizenship, leadership, and service to the community and nation, to promote physical fitness, and to stimulate an interest in the sea, land, and air of the Canadian forces and their roles in Canadian society. The cadets participate in a four-year training program. Upon the completion of the program, the cadets become leaders and instruct other cadets in the program. The following topics are covered in the mandatory training. Drill, military fundamentals, bushcraft and fieldcraft, map and compass skills, marksmanship and safe, safe firearm handling, leadership skills, methods of instruction, which include teaching other cadets, physical fitness, and citizenship. They also participate in optional training, in addition to the mandatory training. The Corps conducts several other training activities on the weekends, such as citizenship with assisting the Royal Canadian Legion in poppy sales, fall, winter, and spring field training, first aid courses, abseiling, and other special activities. Throughout the training program, the leadership of the cadets are assessed. Upon joining the Corps, the cadet holds the rank of recruit. During the cadet's career, as he or she gains experience and leadership skills, they may be promoted based on their merit through seven ranks. As they progress through the rank system, they are given more responsibility and more cadets to lead and instruct. Through the system, the cadets develop their personal leadership skills. The cadets also have the opportunity to attend summer training programs that are two weeks, three weeks, and six weeks long at various locations in Canada and overseas. The courses are located at CFB Borden, and some are some may attend courses in Banff, Alberta, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, or other countries. During many of the courses, the cadets meet other exchange cadets from various nations. Cadets are also given a training bonus of $60 per week for attending summer training. For today's parade, the parade commanding the parade commander is Chief Warrant Officer Rosabel Rosario. The Deputy Parade Commander is Master Warrant Officer Dominic Puglisi. Vimy Squadron Sergeant Major is Master Warrant Officer Dan Lin Zhao. Normandy Squadron Sergeant Major is Master Warrant Officer Jan Jananan Fayaparan. The Flag Party Commander is Sergeant Theo Thompson. The reviewing officer for today's parade is Honorary Colonel of 32 Combat Engineer Regiment, Brigadier Gen General De Laurier.
please stand for the arrival of flags. Please remain standing for the arrival of the reviewing officer, the honorary colonel of the 32 Combat Engineer Regiment, Brigadier General Retired DeLaurier. Please be seated. The Newmarket Citizens Band was founded in 1872, with roots dating back to as early as 1843. It is the oldest continuously running community concert band in Canada. The band now consists of 60 members and currently engages including concerts for the town of Newmarket and by invitation from other municipalities and organizations. The band is busiest during the summer months with concerts and at Christmas time when they participate in several Santa Claus parades. The band's repertoire covers a broad spectrum of traditional community band material, including marches, orchestra orchestral transcriptions, Broadway, movie themes, and pop. Programs are planned with audience development and appeal in mind. New members are always welcome at their rehearsals. The New Market Citizens Band is committed to the community band concept, providing an opportunity for community musicians of all levels and experience to make music and improve their skills in a supportive and relaxed atmosphere. New members who can read music and play a band instrument are always welcome. They rehearse every Tuesday night at the Ray 20 Complex in Newmarket. The website provides much more detail and can be found at info at newmarketcitizensband.ca.
We will now present the trophies and awards for this year. Each trophy winner will also be given a plaque to take home. We call upon Lieutenant Colonel Gazarki to present the Chief Warrant Officer B. McLean CD OSJ Award, Best All-Around Effort. The recipient of the Best All-Around Effort must be any cadet who has a nearly perfect attendance record, participates at all, activity, all training activities, strives for self-improvement, and attempts all challenges given. This year, the Best All-Around Effort Award goes to Cadet Vasilevska B.
Leadership Award goes to Master Warrant Officer Puglisi. We call upon Brigadier General De Lory to present the best overall cadet award donated by Lieutenant Zura Wiki. This year, the best overall cadet award goes to Chief Warrant Officer Rosaria. Today we are proud to present a scholarship created by Andre Mercanzini in honor of Captain D. J. Sil Silzer, former commanding officer of 1888. Here to present the award is Andre Mercanzini and Sheila Silzer. This scholarship is awarded to Chief Warrant Officer Rosaria. I'm Andre Mercanzini and this is Sheila Sozer. The scholarship is in memory of Captain Doug Sozer. Many of us served uh, as cadets uh, under Doug Sozer in the 1990s. This memory is, um, the scholarship is in uh, his memory. His dedication to this corps lives on and his dedication to academics lives on. And former cadets of his got together and put together a scholarship for a cadet who has demonstrated extraordinary leadership and also dedication to academics, which is a very important thing for Captain Silver. This is also a scholarship thanking all the cadet corps officers, Captain Bornell, Captain Bailey, Major McLean, who is no longer with us, and Chief Instructor Woodock Turk, who is also here today, for their help in developing 
youth leadership and lessons that you take with you for the rest of your life as cadets. The scholarship is for a sum of $1,888, 1888, by the way, and I hope that it will serve you well in your studies. Arsene, thanks very much. We now call upon Lieutenant Colonel Boychin to present the Spirit of Service Award donated by the Rose Volunteers. The recipient... now call upon Lieutenant Colonel Caldwell to present the Cadet of the Year trophy. This award goes to Sergeant McKay. Okay. We now call upon Mr. and Mrs. Hayes, to, representing the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 614, to present the Royal Canadian Legion Medal of Excellence. This year, the Royal Canadian Legion Medal of Excellence goes to Sergeant Ross D. We now call upon Brigadier General DeLore to present the Lord Strathcona Medal. The recipient of this year's Lord Strathcona Medal is Sergeant Thompson. The origin of the Strathcona Foundation dates back to 1909. Lord Strathcona, the High Commission 
the High Commissioner for Canada in London, England, wish to improve the physical and intellectual capabilities of youth by encouraging habits of self-discipline, good citizenship, and patriotism. To this end, he created this foundation bearing his name. In 1923, a medal was struck and awarded to the most deserving cadet of each corps. The medal is the highest award that can be granted to a cadet. The recipient was sing uh, was singled out amongst peers by an outstanding performance and a personal involvement in the community. Award for Outstanding Contribution to the Corps. The recipient of the Colonel Hartley Award is, is awarded um, because they make a significant contribution to the Corps. This year, the Colonel Hartley Award for Outstanding Contribution goes to Mr. I. Ashton. I now call upon the reviewing officer, Honorary Colonel of 32 Combat Engineer Regiment, Brigadier General Retired DeLaurier, to say a few words. Wow, what a crew, and I have to thank each and every one of you independently, I'm told, afterwards. So. Distinguished guests, Commanding Officer, Commanding Officer 32 Combat Engineer Regiment, and former Commanding Officer, Lieutenant Colonel Boykin John Terry, Honorary Lieutenant Colonel of 32 Combat Engineer Regiment, ladies and gentlemen, family, supporters, and friends. It is indeed my privilege to be invited here today to participate in the 75th anniversary of this wonderful Cadet Corps and all that it stands for. A parade is a grand event made it even greater when we have a good band in there keeping us all in step. So my thank you and please join me in a hand to the band. The world today is full of heroes. Canadian Armed Forces, Army, Navy, Air Force, full of heroes who have traveled overseas on operations throughout the world and who are peacekeeping ops. They continue to do it even in Canada when the need arises to serve the citizens of this great country, whether it be a flood, forest fire, or any other natural disaster. Each and every single one of them is truly a Canadian hero. But there are many others. Cadet leadership at all ranks, spend countless hours, days, weeks, months, and years working for the betterment of the young citizens of Canada that you see standing in front of you today. They put an enormous amount of effort and true love into their job each and every day. And for that, they surely can be considered Canadian heroes. There are others among us, supporters, whether it be the Legion or other organizations, ex-commanding officers of cadet units, ex-cadets, families and friends who constantly are coming out to support the organization and the young people of our great country. Each and every one of you can also be truly classed as a Canadian hero and I publicly thank you for your countless days, years, months of effort. All heroes, each and every one of you. We have a group of heroes standing in front of us today. 
young citizens of Canada. It's a huge step to take that grand leap and join an organization such as the cadets. It takes a lot of courage, guts, bravado, and just plain gumption to take that first leap forward into the unknown. The unknown of what I'm going to do. The unknown of what I'm going to be asked. Each and every one of you out in front of us have taken that step. Congratulations to each and every one of you. You are all truly Canadian heroes. Now I know even for heroes it's getting awful hot out in that pavement in those dark uniforms. So I'm going to end with one word and I want to hear it back. Chimo! Chimo! Not good enough. Let's do it once more. Chimo! Chimo! Thank you. I now call upon the commanding officer of 1888 32 Combat Engineer Regiment, Cadet Corps, to say a few words. Captain Gia. Thank you. Brigadier General Delorier, Honorary Lieutenant Colonel Caldwell, Lieutenant Colonel Boychin, Lieutenant Colonel Clary, thank you all for joining us today. Sir, if I could present you a small token of appreciation for joining us today uh, for this very important parade. It is a great honor today to be here talking to you about recognizing the 75th anniversary of this Cadet Corps. I joined the Cadet Corps in 1996 and rose through the ranks to retire as a Chief Warrant Officer and in my time here I learned a lot about leadership, motivation and working as part of a team. As a young officer I wanted to give back to my community so I rejoined the Engineers family as an Officer Cadet and now serve as the Commanding Officer. It is a pri privilege to facilitate what I believe to be the best youth program in Canada. We teach so much more than drill, field craft, and marksmanship. We teach the cadets how to work together, solve problems, and be part of a team. As I look around today in the audience, I see many faces of people who have been part of this program for a very long time. I see members of the 32 Combat Engineer Regiment, I see people who have gone on to become doctors, teachers, and city employees. I see a highly motivated group of leaders in our community. I see people who know how to work together to get a job done. As a team, we have accomplished so much, and I can't wait to see what the next few generations of cadets will do. To the cadets today on parade, you've done an outstanding job, and I am so proud of each and every one of you. You have worked very hard and you should feel very proud of yourselves as well. The bonds of the engineer family are so strong and deep that they reach across time and space to hold us together. And every year, we grow stronger as a family. And with that note, one word. Chimo! Chimo! Stand.
On behalf of the Kirat staff and commanding officer, we will also be making a special presentation of coins at 6 p.m. We have food, so please come. Uh, June 19th will be our final parade for the training year, and we will be having a sports night. Um, it's really important for the kids to attend as we have some final information to give to them. The first parade back in September is September 11, 2017. And um, after the parade, we will also be taking a group picture. For any of the parents, if you'd like a copy of the core picture, please see Lieutenant Shuin for your form. Lastly, over the last 75 years, we have seen many cadets who have been successful in their careers and in society. Today, we also celebrate their success, a success that the cadet program has contributed to over the years. We invite all former cadets to fall in on Captain Bain behind Vimy and Normandy Squadron. will be upstairs in the banquet hall. 